Building your repertoire is um, one of the most important moments in the life of a dancer. You know, when a role is created on a dancer, it's your character, your role forever. Same for the company, Dracula will be our production forever. So anywhere the, the ballet is going to be performed in the future, it will be always our own production. So it's a way of exporting um, West Australian ballet to the rest of the world. When you give to the best of your ability to the ballet, and then you see it translated into magnificent costumes, magnificent performance, you feel proud. It's so critical to have the arts because they are uplifting. They nourish our spirits. If you go through your whole life without experiencing that enrichment, it's, it's sad. The reason I continue to support the ballet is because it's true craftsmanship and, and it's true art. To lose that for the sake of some money would be, a, would be a shame. Our point shoes are so important. I mean, if we have a bad pair of shoes, it can mean a bad show. Preparing my point shoes is quite an involved process. I love being on point because it's, it makes you feel lifted and a little bit ethereal. You're almost floating on the ground. You're not on the ground anymore. My point shoes usually last around two weeks and most of the girls are about the same and I think collectively we go through about 700 pairs of shoes a year. I wanted to do something to give back and the point shoe is the ballet dancers tool, it's what they use to you know, do their craft and I thought it would be amazing to be a part of that. I see the WA Ballet Company as a really key part of the Perth arts scene and the community and being able to be a part of that is just really special. Regional touring is really important for us because we're West Australian Ballet, we're based in Perth but we are the state ballet company, we have a very big state to get around and we think it's really important to connect with our communities and give a full arts experience to everyone no matter where they live. It was an amazing and graceful uh, moment and experience. It was like meeting a celebrity, but in a whole different way. Ideally, we can take a performance everywhere we go, but sometimes we can't do that. So we'll do workshops in primary schools and secondary schools. We'll do ballet classes with dance students. We'll do story time sessions in libraries and childcare centres. And just last year, we piloted a program to engage with disadvantaged communities in regional areas as well. I grew up in a regional area and although we had a town hall, we had no performing arts centres. For me it's important to support WA Ballet, particularly for the regional touring, because I know from my personal experience that country people miss out on a lot in relation to arts and cultural experiences. The Health and Wellbeing Program is a support for dancers in the physio room, uh, the psychologist, whatever they feel that they, they need, it's there. It is a huge pressure on, on them uh, in many ways, I would say. Already uh, the way they prepare their body, uh, the way they prepare their mind, it's a huge task to get ready for a performance. The Health and Wellbeing Program at West Australian Ballet is a relatively new initiative that allows the company to focus on the basics that a dancer needs to be able to get out there and do their job. We don't always understand the strength and resilience that's behind the scenes. So to be able to help dancers achieve those goals is a great thrill for us. The Health and Wellbeing Program being focused not just on the physical aspects of dance but also on the mental, I think is really important. I recommend people who are thinking about making a contribution to really just try it and I guarantee the rewards will be there. Donate to the WA Ballet because it's an amazing company and it's such an important piece of Perth. I just want to say a massive thank you to all our donors. Your support means the world to us. Mm -hmm.